Hello, welcome to Old vs. Young Reactions. I'm Sora with my dad, Mike. Mm -hmm. And like always, we take suggestions in the comments. So if you want us to react to something, please type it in the comments below. This is by the famous band Queen. It's not one of their famous hits, but it's a song called Who Wants to Live Forever? Now, let's get into it. Love some Queen. Mm -hmm. Rip Freddie Mercury. <laughs> There's no time for us There's no place for us What is this thing that builds our dreams Yet slips away from us Why Showing off, this is just Freddie Mercury showing off his uh, talent as a vocalist. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm like with all Queen songs, you're just waiting for him to cut loose. You yeah, know, really blow the roof off the place. But I mean, Queen was known for doing, you know, Bohemian Rhapsody, all sorts of different kinds yeah. of songs. And like, but this is really a departure. Like classical instruments, yeah. even the drummer didn't have a normal drum kit. He yeah. was dealing with like more a classical drum setup. Yeah, I like how it didn't start off with a. Uh, Freddie at first. It no, actually yeah. started off with the bassist Brian May. Yeah. And uh those two of course are like the two most prominent members that are well yeah. known. And uh I like how it switched from him to Freddie Mercury and I'm like, wait, is this like uh a song cuz I know like you did talk like once like uh, before like uh like after like Freddie I think died, they did some songs like like with uh, Brian May, but it just didn't work out. Yeah, I think that's what I remember was that they, yeah, they tr tried to continue to do the, the Doors did the same thing. They had a couple of albums after Morrison was gone, but it, it just wasn't the same. It didn't work out. But this is like like all Queen stuff. It's like I'm not totally sure if I like it. Yeah, but it is entertaining. It is entertaining. And, yeah, also and that. it's They're like really sucking me in. Singing. I'm like, whoa, what's going to be next? So yeah, let's hit it.
Beatles is interesting because Queen's known for like the rock songs and some of the disco stuff, but this was a very interesting approach. And I like I said earlier, I think this was like Freddie Mercury showing off his style as a vocalist. Yeah, it, so he, he can do anything. You got to hit some real big notes. And yeah, it's one of the good. best singers of all time. And it was like very theatrical too. Yeah, like it felt like like it would be on Broadway or something like that. And it's it felt like at one point the song started getting going, and then they pulled it back. Yeah, again. and it like again interesting, clever. I mean, it's these guys take. are musically they're geniuses. Oh yeah, so they, they do geniuses. different stuff. But it's like, yeah, I found myself not able to kind of fall into the groove either. Like it, usually with Queen, that's one of the things. They suck you in with the sound right away. Oh, yeah. But, like, this was, like, much more subtle and yeah. calm. Yeah, so. they were, like, they drive you in with the song. They drive you in with the deep lyrics. Mm -hmm. But this is, like you said, yeah, it sounds like something that would be on Broadway or if they had, like, a huge singing solo, then they, or, like, a theatrical solo, yeah. you'd sing it. So, yeah, I liked this. This was a good, interesting take from Queen. Yeah, like, something different. It shows them in much. a different light. Yeah, it shows, like, how... Uh, yes, they're like known for rock and disco, but this shows that like they can do just more than that. And that's something like if Freddie Mercury lived long enough to do, we could have seen more of his power mm. as a vocalist. Yeah, because absolutely. Yeah, the dude was only forty-five, but like, yeah, mm. that guy would have been a powerhouse, and they could have done way more. But yeah, this has been old versus young reactions. I'm Sora with my dad Mike, and we'll see you all next time. Peace. Bye.